Hey guys, so I was able to, um, this is one of the photos I was able to use to edit and you can see that it looks pretty good. Um, this is the uh, after photo, before, after, before, after. Hopefully the, um, this shows you how powerful of an iPad this thing is and I'm going to use it as a um, photo editor. So first thing we're going to do is see, I've already, already imported the photos from my um, iPhone actually because I'm running the beta and so whenever I crash, whenever I plug in the uh, SD card slot to the iPad it actually crashes so I'm going to just be using, um, I transfer it to my iPhone and then transfer it to um, my iPad via AirDrop. Um, the I also slimmed down the photo set I made yesterday and currently you are looking at um, 27 photos. It was like about 40 to 50 before and I had to just scale down because as a photographer you can't just, you don't sh show everything, you just show the ones that look good or very good. Um, and for the ones that look amazing, you can then think about editing those. For example, this is my friend Crew. He is awesome, and uh, this is his birthday. He, uh, my rule for editing portraits is that you don't um, edit their face or body structure. Um, so if they have blemishes, they keep it. Um, that's just my general rule for general rule for uh, everyday photo taking. Uh, if I was to do like a uh, an event for example then that would be very different um but right now uh this is my friend's birthday party um so first thing we're gonna do is we, we're going to import it into uh, this app called affinity photos um what you can do is you can actually make a new uh new folder new project folder from here and i've already made one uh, the issue with this app is that you can't import multiple multiple photos you can only import one photo at a time that's a huge pain in the ass so the way i kind of um structured it is to go to photos and just favorite the ones i really 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 like um that way when i'm done with that that way, that way uh, i'll show you in a second um uh, let's see so this one's good uh, this one looks good uh, this one's I've already this one I've already edited. Actually, this one is using um, Google Snapseed, which is pretty impressive actually. <laughs> uh, I like this photo a lot. Um, this one is post production. Uh, you can see the color is very very punchy. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, this, is, this one is definitely going to be in here as well. Um, this one. Two. Oh, someone's dying in the background. This one's gonna be over it. And I think this one as well. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this one's fun. So now we have the po uh, photos favorited. Now I can just go to um, Affinity Photos and then import the photos I really really want which is the favorite section. Uh, the first photo is going to be Crew's face, his lovely smile and face. Um, with Affinity Photos, the bar to your right, uh, the bar to your right is your just tools bar and the bar to your left is also your um, magical making, magic making device. Um, this right here, uh, to your, the, the uh, top left corner, you can see that there are um, different sections, and this one, the one that has the colors, is the image editor. <coughs> So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, to crop the photo. Uh, let's see. 
prep tool, make sure that the ratio is constrained. I just followed the rule of third, to be honest. <laughs> I'm really lazy. So now, the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna go here. Um, and then we're going to fix the, uh, the color. The nice thing about um, iPad apps is, is that it allows you to be non-destructive. So even though I even though I, I, I exited the um, app on here, it's still the same. Um, the auto saving feature is really useful in here. So now what we're going to do is this. Um, so now I'm going to try to add a little bit more blur to the background because that's cool. Um, this is when you play around with this, with, with the, uh, the side buttons. So on your right, you can see that there are a lot of different studios. Um, and we're going to go to the adjustment studio, which is there. Adjustment, <laughs> color, curve, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. And being able to see the, um, the side, yes. Um, being able to see on the side what's going on is super useful. This is um, the this is another set of curves. The first set of curves is actually for raw editing. This is just for um, image image in general. We're gonna add some filters because filters are really awesome. Blur. Remember. <laughs> oh, that's one. So, um, one of the lessons you're learning, or you will learn, is that you want to make this thing as non-destructive as possible. Um, and to do that, you want to. Oops, it's too strong. So, oh, nice. So, the really awesome thing about this app is that it's already it already has Gaussian blur for you. Um, to take it to take the uh, effect away, you can just color in what's going on.
Oops. So you can see now that even though my mask is not perfect, you can kind of like uh, see the difference between. <laughs> there's a better um, focus on crew. Hmm. Um, so now, I'm done with this. I can put on a... Uh, mm, let's see. I want to add a vignette to this thing, but I don't know how to. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, uh, I don't know how to do it here, but I do know how to do it in another place, which is um, export. Um, this also allows you to generate um, different types of exports, and what we're going is. Uh, we're going to use Visco because I like Visco a lot. And you can see that in here, there's a lot of different options for exporting. Ouch, my butt hurts. Um, and you can see that this picture is 25, 29 megabytes. 29 megabytes for an iPad is very impressive how fast this thing is editing at. So the image. Um, okay, so now we are going to use Visco to add a uh, vignette because Visco ha has an amazing um, editor in general. Uh, and now we 
you're done with this, you can, uh, let's see. <laughs> but yeah, when you're done with it, you can see that there is a slight thing out to this thing. Hmm. Aw, true. And when you're done, you can just uh, publish it onto Facebook, because Facebook is like that. Last thing on your Facebook, make sure that when you are setting, uh, account setting, <coughs> make sure that your um, photos are edited in HD mode. That way, uh, photos can be updated in HD. So yeah, there is, that is the end of my quick tutorial on using the iPad Pro as an editing device.